So here I'm doing a ferrule design where the part of the design where I'm at has these really long floats because there's these big blocks of color. So in order to keep them from being really long, I'm hanging them at intervals along the hooks. So I'm just barely pulling out the hook and laying the yarn across and being careful not to get the stitch behind the latch, otherwise they'd drop. I'm leaving about mm, five stitches in between where I'm laying the hooks and laying the yarn across the hooks. And then I would just push those needles back. It does get a little bit tight, so you need to pull a little bit of slack, otherwise they just pop off and not get knitted in. So what happens when you knit over that is it doesn't get knitted, it just gets woven in to the next row that gets knitted. So here is the float from the new row and there is where the, uh, the floats that I hung got caught in the knitting. So I'm just gonna continue and put those long strands over the hooks. So the result is a little bit erratic because um, I wasn't completely uh, consistent with the way I hung them, but here's the result. As you can see, none of those long floats came to the front or anything. So it's later now and I've taken the knitting off the machine and that's what it looks like with having those long floats knitted in. And this is what it looks like having the long floats those big blocks of color, um, whatever colors in work is being knitted, the other color is gonna be floating across the back. So now the reason why I have in the same piece, the long floats and the woven in floats was because, well, that was actually my first attempt at doing that, but it turned out that I was gonna do a, rever a reversible si uh, design anyway, and all the floats are gonna be on the inside. They're not gonna be accessible, they're not even gonna be visible. But it was a really good exercise, and now I know for future projects how to deal with those really long floats. So I made a lot of mistakes, I learned a lot. It's really fun, but really challenging. And I hope to be able to try a little more and make more projects because the results are really cool.